hello welcome to my channel in this uh, episode we want to treat uh, ordering of fourth fraction how to order fractions all right now if you want to order fractions we will be doing it in other in ascending order or descending order ascending mean increasing order descending mean decreasing order so you can see a staircase if you start your journey from one and move to two three four five it means you are increasing in order simply put you are ascending so ascending means moving from smaller to higher or from small to big then descending meaning that you are starting your journey from the top the bigger number down to the small number so this to this to three to two to one you are descending if you are climbing a mountain you are ascending if you are coming down you are descending that simply means that the value should be small the next one to be bigger and in that order so if you have a fraction as in this way you are to arrange in ascending order we want to find out which other fractions are bigger than the other or we want to begin for the smaller to the biggest one there are two steps involved step one involves the lcm you look out for the lcm of all the denominators so that you can express each other fraction as equivalent fraction or better still as a common fraction with equal denominator so the lcm What to be the LCM of 4, 3, 5? A number that each of them can divide without the remainder. And I believe if we take 20, this cannot go. If we take uh, 60, they can all go. So we are going to divide each other fraction by that LCM. Meaning, my LCM is going to be 60. Taking the first fraction, 4 will divide. 60 how many times that will be 15 the 15 will in turn multiply this to give you 45 the comma will come 3 will go into 60 how many times that will be 20 20 times 2 we get 40 5 will divide 60 12 times 12 times 3 will be 36 so in Actual sense, these fractions we are having here 3 over 4, 2 over 3, 3 over 5 can be written as 45 over 60, 40 over 60, 36 over what? 60. And you can see that all of them are having the same denominator. It means no matter what, they have the same division. So it is the part that we compare. So we, we divide it into 60. We are taking 40 part, 20 part, 36 part. So you can see that this part, as we are seeing, is bigger than this. It's bigger than this. So in ascending order, we will start from this. Smaller compared to this, compared to this. Are you following? So comparing this with this, we can say that the fraction is going to be, therefore, this is the smallest one as 3 over 5 in ascending order, followed by this, which is 40, then followed by what? 3 over 4. So if I'm to arrange this fraction in ascending order, my answer should be in this form. If I want to introduce the less than or greater than into it. It could have been this is less than this, and this is also what less than that. Ascending order. I believe you know what the descending order will be. The descending order, meaning from the bigger down toward the smaller one. Alright. Now the second aspect is using 100 percent Multiplying each other fraction. 
So we're multiplying. By 100% and further uh, divide, uh, simplify into the smallest uh, form. So 3 over 4 times 100%. 4 will go here 25. 25 times this will be 75%. Then my 2 out of 3 is going to be multiplied by what? 100. So now this is going to be, if you divide this, you cannot have a perfect division. So you multiply this, you get 200. 200 divided by what? 3. We can do that division. We know this will be 6, as in 18. If you subtract, you'll be having what? 2. 3 cannot go into 2, so you drop your 0. I believe that will be another word, 6, which will still be our 18. If you subtract, you get 2. We don't have any number, so we drop a decimal point and increase. So if you check, your pattern will be 6666. Six, six, six. So the answer we are going to get here is going to be 66.67%. What happened to the next one? which is 3 over what? 5 times 100%. 5 into 100, that will be 20. 20 times uh, 3, that will give you 60%. So comparing the percentages, if you compare the percentages, this is smaller than this, and this is smaller than this. So comparing the percentages with our fraction, we can write 3 over 5 being less than 2 over 3 being less than what? 3 over 4. I believe you get the concept. Alright. If that is clear, then I believe you can also provide an answer to this. Don't forget, this is Dexma. But we can also convert that into a fraction as 62, how many decimal places? 2. So a power of 2. 10 power 2. That will be 100. If you like, you can further break it down to the smallest form to be easy to find your LCM. If not, you can still maintain the 100 to be the number there. Alright. So I believe you get the concept of ascending and descending order. Thank you for watching, like, share and comment.